Another special field that we offer here at the batch level is the ELN entry. Um, this is beginning to paint the picture of a completely integrated platform of structured and unstructured data coming together to, to really fully document and fully describe and annotate your drug discovery process. Whenever a batch of a compound or an entity is registered or linked to from an ELN entry, you automatically get this link. So this means that this batch of this molecule um, was registered from an ELN entry. And if I go over to that ELN entry, you'll see that we have a um, example of a synthesis here where we've drawn a chemical reaction. It gets, gives us a full stoichiometry table here where I can interact with this stoichiometry table in edit mode and add reagents, or I can simply draw the reagents above or below the arrow in my reaction. For any of the reaction components that may already be registered in your vault, we will automatically show you the molecule ID. And also any that are not, or that you wish to register again, maybe another batch, um, we give you the opportunity to register any of these reaction components into your registration system. As I scroll down through this ELN canvas, you'll notice all of the different uh, places are documented here. Uh, we have a Word file that is dropped in. We do offer and provide a full integration with Microsoft Office. So if I clicked this uh, Word icon, this file would be opened and we could edit that inline or directly here within the ELN. I can also choose to change the preview size of this Office document so I could click that diagonal arrow and the document would open here in line for viewing within my ELN canvas. Uh, scrolling down, we also can insert just chemical structures so they don't have to be reactions. And again, if I hover over this chemical structure, you can see the opportunity to register this in my re registration system. But I can also see here that this compound already exists in my CDD vault registration system with an ID of OC203. So we'll take a quick detour and go to the OC203 molecule here. And you can see all of the information just by clicking through on that molecule ID that's available in my entire CDD vault platform. So all of the chemical properties that we've calculated based on the chemical structure are here. You can see there is a tab to contain all of the batches. So batch one was actually registered from that ELN page. You can see that link here. So again, however you discover this molecule, however you come across and start investigating this molecule, there's always uh, these links or these hints that there's more information in other parts of the platform. Very easy, very obvious, very intuitive that you can click through and see additional data.